Welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. Today I thought we would take a look at this Fluke 54 Series 2B thermometer. It has two channels, a really nice large display and it supports a wide range of thermal couples. It also has the ability to log up to 500 readings and has a min, max and average function. So let's take a closer look at this thermometer on the bench. The Fluke 54 Series 2B thermometer has two inputs, T1 and T2. These are basic Type K thermal couples. I currently have T1 as the primary display, which is reading 81.4. And I have T2 as the secondary display reading currently 80.9. Both of these readings are in degrees Fahrenheit. You can see that both of these thermal couples have now stabilized and they're reading very close to each other. Here on the left hand side it's showing that I'm using a K-type thermal couple. This thermal meter provides the option to have the temperature displayed in Fahrenheit, Kelvin or degrees Celsius. I typically prefer to use degrees Fahrenheit. The primary display can show T1, T2, T1 minus T2 with the secondary display showing T1 or T1 minus T2 with the secondary display showing T2. There is also a min-max function. A nice feature of this thermal meter when in min-max mode is time stamping. Here I can see my maximum was taken at 1307 and if I switch to my minimum I can see my timestamp is 1306. To exit min-max I press the secondary function button followed by the min-max button to cancel. To enter setup the first option is to set the logging interval. There are a series of presets. Preset 1 is every second. Preset 2 is once every 10 seconds. Preset 3 is once a minute. Preset 4 is once every 10 minutes. There is also an option to set a custom log interval. The final option disables time logging and instead will log a reading every time the log button is pressed. I'm going to configure this to log once every second. The type tells the thermal meter what type of thermal couple we are using. Our options are K, J, T, E, R, S or N. I only have K-type thermal couples. Each channel can have a fixed offset which is applied to the reading. So for example if I wanted to I could set a half a degree Fahrenheit offset for T1. I don't wish to set an offset. Likewise an offset can also be set for T2. There is an auto power off option. It's currently turned on. I'm going to turn it off. This thermal meter has a real-time clock which timestamps the min-max as well as any log entries. This sets the power line frequency, in my case it's 50 Hz. To exit setup, press setup. I'm now going to begin logging some temperature readings. The logging interval is one reading per second. You can see the temperature is quickly climbing. To stop logging, the log data can be viewed pressing recall. There is a total of 65 readings logged. The last reading was logged at 1357. The first reading was logged at 1356. Log entries can be stepped through using the arrow keys. Also, the min and max functions work on log data. The maximum reading was taken at 1357 and it was 176.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The minimum was 123.2 degrees Fahrenheit and that was logged at 1356 and the average is 150.4 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature units can also be changed while viewing the log data. We're currently set to Fahrenheit. This would be Kelvin and this would be degrees Celsius. To exit we just press recall again. The memory can be cleared by pressing the second function, log, and enter. In a dark location, this unit also has a backlight function. In summary, I really enjoy using this thermometer. I particularly enjoy having the large display and also the long periods of time that this can log for unattended. The accuracy of this unit is actually quite good. It's specced at 0.05%. The thermal couples, however, may have an accuracy of only 1 or 2%, so bear that in mind. 
There's not really much more to say about this unit. It's a good, robust unit. For some people, I guess the major limitation of this thermal meter would be its logging capacity of only 500 readings. In this price range, I would like to have seen a larger memory. 500 readings is a little bit limited, but if you're logging one reading every hour, there's still 500 hours. So I've had this unit for, I guess, three or four years now. I've been very happy with it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this review of the Fluke 54 Series 2B thermal meter. If you did enjoy this review, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.